Alrighty, welcome back. I was a little bit off the cuff here, something I don't normally do, but uh, preparing for a fishing trip. I got a canoe trip that I do with a couple of buddies that I went. And I was in the military with. I try to get on it as often as possible. It's been about four years, I think, since I was there last. But the last time I was there, I did win the fishing derby. I caught the biggest fish, a 13 and a half inch brook trout. Nice fish, it's a good eater too. But uh, today, uh, I'm preparing, getting ready for the fishing trip tomorrow. And I'm gonna take and show you a few different items that I have that should make it a little easier for me. Cause summertime is coming. And if you wanna get out and go camping or be out and about, um, for me, the most important thing is comfort. If I'm not comfortable, everybody's miserable. So these are a few things that I use to stay comfortable. Let's check them out. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start up with, this is uh, the rocking chair that I use. Uh, just a regular camping chair. In some canoes, like wide bottom canoes, it will fit in there and it makes it uh, canoe traveling a lot more comfortable. A little bit higher center of gravity, but still worth it. Um, it is the freestyle rocker. And I guess I won't be able to show you. Well, let me just put this down and show you real quick. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's just got shocks built into the back, which allow it to rock. It's a really incredible folding rocking chair. It's tough to find a folding rocking chair. It's not the most comfortable chair in the world, but the fact that it is comfortable and it rocks is a big plus. And breaks down, folds up, easy to carry. Freestyle rocker. Okay, and here's uh, one that I just purchased today. All right, now it's a little bit on the more expensive side. I think if you get it right, you can get these right around 60, 50 to 60 dollars. I got it on 50 dollars on sale, but I think they're normally run around 60 to 65 dollars. This one here's a little bit more expensive. This one was like out the door with tax and everything it was like a hundred dollars. Okay, I think it's a 90 dollar chair, a little bit more expensive. But this one here is a deluxe zero gravity comfort lounger. And this is the deluxe version. The reason I went with the deluxe version, not so much because they had a beer holding cup holder on the side with a little table and a built in like mug handle spot so you can put coffee mugs in there. But um, almost all the other reclining chairs, let me show you this here. Most zero gravity chairs will get you to about right here and it's comfortable but not for me and just not quite there. This one lets you get back to a full lay down. And I mean, I can sleep in this thing all day. I'm about as comfortable as I can be. My feet are elevated. No stress on the back. I think I might take a nap. Go nap. Oh, and it locks too. Check it out. Okay, now the table on here. It's pretty nice. It's actually ingenious the way they got it set up here. It just pops off. What do we do over here? Pops off of this little wheel, and it fits in a groove. And then it just slide, slides and tucks underneath the chair. When you fold it up, it stays underneath there. But you can adjust the angle depending on how the angle of your ground and how you're sitting by adjusting that. So you need to tip back a little bit. Could probably do something a little like this. And set it like that. Or if you need it a little bit more forward. Probably do something a little like that. But yeah, depending on the angle of the ground, you can adjust the angle of the little table. So a little more expensive, totally comfortable, totally worth it. Alrighty, a couple of chairs I'm planning on using. I'm hoping to bring you guys some footage of the fishing derby the fishing trip um it's just gonna be a day long for me they're going for three days they're going for the whole nine yards i'm gonna stick in as long as i can hopefully stay the night and i'll bring you any footage of fishing that we get but it's still pretty early in the season so we might not see any but thanks for watching stay tuned these are the chairs i use for comfort on to the next adventure hope you're all having a great day and enjoy the fantastic weekend ahead